This is Dr. Daniel Paul with Easy Orthopedics, and today I want to talk about something in healthcare uh, that not many people are talking about, but has been bothering me for a long time, and that's the fax machine. So about twice a week, I get a call, hey, Dr. Paul, uh, we couldn't find your fax number. What's your fax number? To which I respond, I don't have one. And then there's usually a pause, and then, well, how are we supposed to send you stuff? Hmm, I don't know. How are you supposed to send me stuff? Uh, how about you email it to me? It's 2020. Just email it to me. What are you going to send it? Send a fax or print it off on the computer and I have a bunch of papers? I'm not dealing with that. Just email it to me. Send it electronically. Uh, if Ronald Reagan were president and I just came out of an aerobics class and I was calling you from my car phone, yeah, then fax it to me. But Ronald Reagan's been dead for 16 years, along with all the other stuff. Just email it to me. Now, some of you may be saying, well, you know, I don't know if email is compliant. Uh, first of all, it is. It's encrypted and it's totally HIPAA compliant if you do it correctly. Um, and then you're going to talk about the fax machine being HIPAA compliant. It's going through the phone line, okay? And to make a fax HIPAA compliant, what you're supposed to do is when you send the fax, to send a person a code. And then when the fax comes in, they enter that code and they get it. Nobody does that. There's, most faxes are not HIPAA compliant, uh, yet we still use it. Um, and then it's a mess with all the paper and everything like that. Who wants to deal with that? Certainly not me. And some of you may say, well, you can get an electronic fax number. Oh, so you want me to get an electronic fax number and pay $140 a year so people can send uh, information, uh, send documents electronically? Like, hmm, I think I know something else that does that. It's email. Just email it to me. I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. It happens to me all the time. The healthcare industry is so slow to move with these technological changes. I think it was a few years ago there was in the, uh, in the UK they were using Windows XP computers and they got ransomware attacked because they weren't supported anymore. I talked to a guy in Austin last week, they're still using Windows XP computers. Um, there's a portal that I use to get my images on for my patients, they use Internet Explorer. We're not talking Edge, we're talking Internet Explorer. You probably didn't think that existed anymore, but if you go to your computer and type in Internet Explorer, it's still there. And guess what, they got a ransomware hack. They went down for two weeks. So it's just this craziness with the healthcare industry, with technology, and just not wanting to change. And it's insane, I don't want to take part of it. I mean, I think I may get a fax machine, but not to plug in. Basically, to leave in the corner and hit with a bat every time someone calls me and asks for my fax number because I'm done dealing with it. So, thanks for listening to my rant. If we don't start talking about these things, then they're never, they'll never change. Um, if, you com if you comment below how much you hate the fax machine, that'll brighten up my day. But otherwise, you know, enjoy yourself, and we'll be back later.